This time I'm going to answer a viewer question. Um, this person wanted to learn how to copy and paste from the terminal. Um, so if you know how to use the CP command and the MV command, then uh, this is going to be boring as shit for you, all right? But um, this is for new users. So I'm going to give you some visuals so you can understand, um, you know, what I'm doing, whatever. Because I think that helps if you never used the terminal before or you don't know how the syntax work. But, you know, a lot of people knows how the, the GUI works. So, I'll give you that little correlation there. Anyways, um, when you start out, you know, when you open your file manager, you all start out with home, right? And it's the same thing with the terminal. You start out with home. You can see that if I do PWD, I'm in my home folder and then user. Same shit here. If I go uh, control L, you can see it's the same path, right? And when you list out some files, LS here. You can see that these folders are the same shit as this one, right? So if you want to enter into a folder like, uh, let's go to pictures here, right? How you do that in the command line? You go CD pictures. You can actually push tab to finish it. You don't have to type out the whole thing. Sometimes it's case sensitive, so you have to type in like capital P, I, and then tab, right? And then you push enter. Now you're in your picture folder. You can see now it says uh, pictures here, right? Uh, so that's how you go into a different folder. Now, let's go back to the home folder here, right? We're in our home folder. Uh, instead of typing out this whole, you know, home slash username or whatever, you can actually just uh, replace that with a squiggy line, and that means the same thing as home. So this equals this, all right? to save uh, time typing for uh, Linux here. Anyways, let's go to our, our uh, picture folder again, right? And we'll list out some stuff. Basically, this is the same content as all of this. It just doesn't look as pretty, but the names are the same and everything, right? Uh, the blue stuff are my folders. You can see that, okay, icons, icons, uh, photo book, photo book, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, the other colors are just my files like JPEG and GIF and all that. Now, when you want to move something, uh, think of it like postal mail. You know, you have your mail and then you, where you want, uh, well, you have to put your address where you're from and where you want to send the, the mail to. Same thing, uh, it's just that this one's called CP. All right, so let me man the page right here. CP. Uh, CP stands for copy files and directories or that's what it does and it gives you some other options down here which I'll explain later on but anyways uh, when you CP it's the same format you go CP where you're from and where you want to send it to all right same same concept as the postal mail anyways um, since we're already in our picture folder you can select out the file that you want so for example we want to copy uh, this Brazil file here Let's say we want to put that into our documents uh, folder, right? So here in the documents, I don't have any pictures or anything. But uh, if I CP uh, the Brazil file here, and where do I want to send it to? Well, we're going to use the squiggy line for home because that's where it's at. Slash um, documents, right? That's pretty much it to send uh, one file. Push enter. And now you can see that it copies uh, that Brazil file here. So now you have one over here and one over here, right? So simple as that. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, they wanted to say, uh, learn how to send folders also. Folder is a little different. Let's say for example, I want to send, uh, what do I got in here? Let me see here. Incoming. All right, here we go. This old screenshots or whatever here, right? If I wanted to send this uh, folder, old screenshots, I just use, um, well, let me give you the man page here again, man cp. We don't have to use recursively and show you what it is here. So you can use the uh, dash capital R, lowercase r, or the whole word. It all means the same things. You know, some people type it out, the whole thing, because they want to remember it or whatever. It doesn't matter. But this one copies directory recursively. What that means is that when you copy in a directory, uh, you want to copy the first one and everything un you know else under it. So you have like subfolders or subfiles or whatever it is. 
um, it's going to copy everything under that folder. So to do that, you have to go cp dash uh, r, and then you type in the the file or the folder I mean, right? Old screenshots. And what you want to send it to? If you want to send it to documents, go documents, uh, and I'll copy it. And there you go. You have the folder here, right? And you can open it. All your pictures have been copied and everything. Uh, so that's how you do it for um, you know the CP for folders if you do it without the R or whatever um, it's gonna give you some bullshit error or something like that right like this thing anyways that's it for that now they wanted to paste learn how to paste well in the command line you don't actually paste you move the file and uh, the move file is the same thing you know same format as uh, well almost the same format as the CP command but let me show you here. Let me clear this off first. So man, MV. Now MV in here, you can move the files, and it's also used for renaming files. Doesn't make sense if you never use the terminal, but you know if you use it long enough, it makes sense. Anyways, it's the same thing, same concept. You have like a mail, you know, from and to, right? Same thing. You have to use the MV from and where you want to send it to. Okay, so to move a file, let's say we want to move uh, one of these files in here. <clears throat> Which one are we going to use? Uh, okay, we'll use uh, this one. It's color wheel one here. All right, and we're going to move color wheel one, right? And we want to send it to our, uh, what is that, documents folder. And it's going to move it there. It's not going to copy it. It's just going to move it over. So that's how you do that. Um, oh yeah, they wanted to learn how to what was that copy files uh, to a different partition. It's the same thing, you know. You just gotta know where the path is at. Um, so I'm giving you an example. I have an external drive here, right? This is my other tab here. This is my uh, external drives. You can see that if I push Control L, you can see that it's in my media folder. And this is my uh, partition name here, um, or my drive name, whatever. So to move a file, let's say from uh, here, right, to here, uh, you do the same thing. You just go move, you know, we, we use this Xena picture here, right? And we put Xena. And what you want to send it to? Well, this is the path right here. This is slash media slash uh, Genjutsu here. So we're going to do that slash media right that's pretty much it you push enter and guess what it's gonna do it's gonna move the file over here so that's how you do it for external partitions right just uh, you know the path name is a little bit different it's in your media folder instead of your home folder and to rename something you know it's pretty easy you let's say for example we have uh, what do we got here okay snapshot one here right think of renaming with the move command is like this you move it to a new name. That's just how you would think of it, okay? Um, so you're moving it to a new name. So before we used, was that the move command? Let's say we use snapshot one here, right? Dot PNG. Before we moved it to like a, a directory, well, you can actually move it to, let's say, for example, we're gonna move it to the same uh, directory as this. But if you want to rename it at the same time, so you move it and then you rename it at the same time, you just go slash and then you give it a new name. So we'll call this, uh, I don't know, we'll call it ss.png or something, right? So when it moves it over here, it's going to be called ss.png. So that's all you got to do here, right? And there you go. It moves it over here and it renames it at the same time. Now, if you want to rename it in place, let's say what we got in here. Uh, okay, we have this Unix command, whatever here, this this picture here, right? We want to move it. Um, actually, we're going to rename it, but in the same folder. So if we're not going to a different folder, we don't have to tell it uh, that we're moving to a different folder. We'll just move it uh, within that same folder. So you just give it a new name. We'll call this, uh, I don't know, uh, what is this picture called? Unix cheat sheet. We'll just call it cheat or something, right? Dot 
JPEG here. And that's it. And I'll rename it in place. Now as you see it says like cheat now. Instead of Unix whatever before. That's pretty much how you would use uh, the move command and uh, the copy command. Um, and also you can rename with it. So hopefully you understand it. If you've got any more questions, um, you know, PM me. But it's kind of boring to do these type of uh, commands because it's kind of basic. But, um, you know, I don't mind doing it if people ask me. That's it for this one.